that data system would eclipse what's being asked for in this bill. So that's already been funded, already been authorized, already being worked on, although I, I wonder sometimes uh, how wholeheartedly it's being worked on. So, Madam Speaker, I'm going to urge a no vote on this bill. I think that the Oregon Department of Education needs to work with what it has on its plate before we give it more homework. Thank you very much. Thank you, Representative. Further discussion? Representative Wilson. Thank you, Madam Speaker, to the bill. To the bill. Uh, Madam Speaker, I'm sorry to be a jack-in-the-box here today, but this is about my last time taking my feet today. Um, I just want to speak up for the virtual uh, charter schools who have a different opinion on this particular study. They believe they have been studied and studied to death at this point in time. And uh, they believe it's a needless expenditure for the state to make and a needless study. Virtual schools have a huge job to do, and they do it well, and it's proven, and most people uh, realize that that is the case. When you take a look at this bill and all that it requires to be studied, frankly, at the prices that uh, things go for in government, $100,000 won't produce much of a study. But when you take a look at all of the things that are asked for, it really is like a Gatorade bath, except the uh, winner isn't getting the bath in this case. It would be the uh, virtual charter schools. I, I feel badly for this. You know, like I mentioned the other day, I'm regulated by the FCC. And if I got uh, a manifesto like this requiring me to come up with answers like this and work with an agency to get them that information, I would be mightily depressed. Uh, colleagues, I would respectfully request a no vote on this particular bill, House Bill 2720B. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Further discussion? Representative Vio. Thank you, Madam Speaker, to the bill. The bill. Madam Speaker, I rise out of respect for my colleague and friend from Western Washington County. I was an eye on this bill uh, back in April uh, uh, in committee. However, since then, the serious structural problems that we have with funding our education system adequately have caused me to uh, reflect on even the tiniest places where we might save uh, money to uh, go to teachers. It's only eighty to a hundred thousand dollars that's uh, uh, anticipated to cost for this study, but that's a teacher. And in my view, the additional things that we would be studying just simply don't d justify that. And so, again, out of courtesy to my colleague, I uh, want to reflect that I'll be a no vote on this bill. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Further discussion? Seeing none, Representative McLean, would you like to close? Yes, I would. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I want to thank the uh, speakers that uh, were part of the conversation just now, and I would like to answer a couple of comments that they made. First of all, there definitely are things that the Department of Education does already know about online virtual schools, but it's pretty slim. And I'd like to list some of the items that are in the virtual concept study um, plan that they would be able to find out more about. The financial and working relationships between each virtual public charter school and its sponsors. The description of the different resources available to public schools that may not be available to non-virtual public schools and the virtual public charter schools. They also do not have a description of the types of regria, um, basically the reviews of each of the virtual public charter schools by the sponsor of the school they are supposed to be reviewing. They don't have any orientation or introduction given to the students before the student's first day of school as a virtual public charter school. The average number of credits by which the students are deficient when the students enroll in the online virtual charter school. The description of the types of the different charter schools and what they offer in the way of blended and just simple straight online virtual charter education. And there are many more, but these are some of the ones that would help us be able to serve all students and all schools in the state of Oregon. As far as the cost, I also agree with my uh, representative from Washington County that we need to be very careful about how we spend money and how the Department of Education spends their budget. 
but I think the success of all students is a very important goal. And it was not 100,000. Uh, the financial came in at 71,000. And they are assuming that they can do even better than that because they are doing most of it in-house. So thank you very much for your consideration. I bring to you this House bill, and I would ask for your I vote. Thank you, Representative.